devil advocates and gemstones welcome to the soul station here with the spiritual b we get ready to get started with your november report um, hope you enjoy it don't forget to support the station we're just going to get on down to the nitty-gritty um, the next lesson will be for well, probably later on november maybe december we'll close it out so uh, stay tuned for that and also stay tuned for the change that's coming up, okay? Stay tuned for the change that's coming up. So I'm getting ready to do something just a little different, okay? Um, I don't think it's ever been done before. So uh, you need to pay attention to the premieres and make sure that your notification is set in your cell phone as well as YouTube. Thank you very much. Devil Advocates and Gemstone, external all over energy. It's coming out of the House of Taurus in the moon energy. And the external underlining energy is coming out of Aries, okay? So, and they both have the same color. That's interesting. Gray. Gray is a neutral color to me, so you may be feeling pretty neutral in some things. Okay? I don't know if you drive, you may have to put your car in neutral. I don't know. I don't know if it's snowing anywhere. Well, let's get on to it, okay? Um, you're dealing with the feminine bull qualities of Taurus Moon are resourceful and patient. You tend to be traditional and do things by the book. You are systematic and methodical with an exceptional ability to organize. When your mind is set on something, you're sure to do your best. Your energy is calm, trustworthy, and kind-hearted. You are artistic poised and enjoy the fine delicacies in life and all things beautiful. Your thoughts are reflective and often focus on maintaining security and stability. You provide an orderly foundation of structure and guidance that encourage others to be innovative. This sounds like a maturing Gemini because they tend to be frivolous and you know in the moment but right now it seems like you kind of may have, um, the moon is works a lot to me like Saturn, where discipline is involved, but it's more in a feminine energy, right? You have to kind of like think about how your mom would be with you as opposed to your father, okay? Now, you're also combining that with the Aries moon, so that carries a lot of emotion, okay? And dealing with your subconscious issues, okay? So you are in the masculine, in the underlying energy and external energy. And it says qualities of Aries moon are energy, optimism, confidence, and decisiveness. You think impulsively and take instantaneous action to achieve goals that are important to you. Your energy is always on go. You perform well under pressure and are willing to take chances to see what is possible. You are strong-willed, ambitious, resilient, enterprising, and can be successful in business matters. Your thoughts are idealistic and constructive. You live with passion, and your positive leadership qualities inspire, inspire courage in others to pursue their own goals with hope and confidence. And I do feel like that comes sort of natural to you to inspire others to do things, um, to whatever it is, career-wise or creatively, um, I feel like you have that as a natural ability, but just seem like you, in a very business-like mind, this, in the month of November, um, go-getter is the word, okay? Go-getter is the word. So let's see what's up for debate this month when it comes to um, November, okay? So we're going to use the orange for the conflict or challenge or what, you know, you debating about what's the big deal in November and then we're going to find out what it's all about and what the blessing is in all of this okay it may still carry some challenge but um evil is evil something is evil the conflict the challenge is up for debate is evil is it evil you may be questioning that you know maybe happening to you I don't know something is evil I don't know Okay, she's pulling that for me. Let's see. What's going on? What's the issue that will turn out to be your blessing or your supportive energy for the month of November? All right, devil advocates and gemstones. Please don't pay too much attention to my nails. Okay? Life goes on. <laughs> Shoot. 
shoot. Got a lot going on. I'll get to it. Let's see. Out of space. Mm. This could be talking about the heavens, okay? We got evil and out of space. It makes me think of the devil and it makes me think of God. Some people may be questioning astrology. They may be questioning tarot, you know, and other oracles and so forth. But this is, is evil, is your all over internal energy, though. And didn't we just talk about subconsciousness? What's in your subconscious? She said, dealing with yourself. Did not say somebody was growing up. This is called maturation. Dealing with feelings. Or it could even be dealing with somebody outside of you. You may be feel like that was evil. This could be a recall, like you rem something you remember. You find it it's evil. This outer space could also be something mentally, you know, going somewhere else, like an escape. Some of you may be part of NASA. You may be an astronaut. I don't know. You may be familiar with somebody. You may be dealing with that actually going out of space, out of space, studying the stars, you no know, astrology, astronomy to get a clearer understanding of life. Okay, so uh, it's funny you got all of this moon energy because during meditation yesterday, as I was finalizing all of these readings and everything, um, Mother Peace was chosen for you. You know, I like to use a different deck for everything, you know, um, just in case some of you do your homework and really do view three vids like you're supposed to when you come. And then you can do a good comparison. I don't know if that was for you or not, but we're going to keep going because I really did feel it. I just saw it. But it was looking straight at the sun. Okay. All over energy is the nine of disc, and it is kind of. Uh, Southwest is based on the strength card. Reverse, we have the Four of Wands as your expectation energy. The Six of Swords is your um, past or present energy. You have the Fool as your outcome. Conflict and a challenge, and your blessed supportive energy we'll get to in a moment. Again, Mother. Of heaven is speaking to you. Your underlying energy is the daughter of swords in reverse. Again, I'm hearing fantasy. Um, the truth. I, I feel like for me, some of you are investigating things ast astrologically and biblically. Okay. You may be leaving some things behind. This is investigative. You, this is a review. It's like you are gathering or receiving information for yourself. Some of you, this may be about works. Now, I don't know if this is like evil works, you know, the kind of work you do. You may be questioning if it's right or not, if it's a good thing to do, you know, because people have professions where evil is being done. Okay? I don't know if you're recognizing this within yourself or within somebody else, within your co corporation, within your church, but you're looking at some stuff. And I'm hearing the word key. So you may be looking for like keywords or um, trying to unlock something in your subconscious. Again, the great mother is dealing with you, dealing with, oh, there it is. Like you can't make, I'm no fabrication. There it is again, looking at the sun. She just flipped it out. Okay. I think a lot of you are, um, it's got a lot to do with where your heart is. Okay. Um, there is a scripture in the Bible that says uh, something to the fact that where your heart is there, your treasures lie also. So, you may be deep rooted into something or 
somebody that you know or you're close to. Something about your mind and your eyes is set on some treasure. I don't know if it's your treasure or somebody else's treasure. If it's evil, if it's outside of you, it could be you got your mind and your eyes set on somebody else's treasure. You need to look at yourself. Hopefully, this is you looking at your own treasures, okay? And um, a lot of your energy is based on the strength card reverse, okay? You know, I see you at ease and at peace with a lot of animalistic behavior, evil, or uh, people that's out, you know, just out for themselves, you know, like animals. You know, animals don't really think a lot about what you need. They think about what they need, you know what I'm saying? And I really feel like you're still, like, feeding it. But she's seeing you doing it really to keep it at bay. It's like, it puts me in a mind of, because I like nature shows. And at one time I was looking at this nature show, um, they was doing a debut in Africa. And I think it was a hyena or something like that. But they would come over into their territory and, you know, rob and get the food that was hunted, hunted for. So... Um, the African leader or tribe or whomever, they realized that, you know, we just sort of fed them. We could make like an agreement with each other. That way they won't come in and destroy and take everything else. You know, sometimes that's the way to do it. It's almost like bargaining. You know what I'm saying? And um, a lot of you is because, you know, I'm hearing airlift here. I feel like you, you're trying to figure out how to get a wet, and you're not alone. Like, it's kind of like a team here. You know, thinking of ways of how, to, you know, I'm hearing candy. Um, I fly above, I fly above, because I feel like, like, it's like you, you kind of like up in midair, okay? You have to deal with this for some reason, but you have to you have to fly above it. You have to go above it. You know, you can't act and respond to evil the way it's acting and responding to you. And that is a lesson in and of itself. You know what I'm saying? It's, um... You kind of look like you have the same face. You're trying to think how to fly above the drama. You know, uh, the... the greed um you know and i'm also hearing some of you just you getting a lot of attention because they want what you got you know okay and maybe this is you feeling that way about someone else i can't really say i have to read it for both sides you know but your overall energy here is in the nine of disc and this is about you know i'm, I'm some of y'all i'm hearing playing the game So I feel like some of you may be going out to enjoy yourself, maybe playing bingo, playing some games, sort of like taking a break, you know, to get, gain some positive energy. But also I see you mapping some things out because you want to be at a better place in terms of where to work, with what you're working with. Flying above, you know, you but I feel like you kind of stuck. And you this could be the the neighborhood or the environment in which you work and live. But I feel like you have support in your environment. Where either where you live, where you work, or both. This all over energy and this nine of pentacles is somebody's is like thinking about where to sow their seed. 
you know, maybe you are in business for yourself. Maybe you have products. And you're looking at a map. You're mapping it out. Where's the best place to sow my seed? Even if it's online, okay? Because to me, even online, you're stepping out into the world, okay? It's just cyberspace, right? Talking about outer space, we're dealing with cyberspace, okay? Internet comes, satellites come from outer space, okay? Yeah, there's some of you, that is, you're thinking about opening up where you can work, where you can sell your product, and I see that you're going to be opening up or welcoming somebody in, you know, I'm also here in celebration. I don't see why. I don't see what's here to celebrate yet, but maybe it is about this business where you want to sow seed, what you're looking into, you know, and now you just, um, opening it up. Some of you, you're going east. This can even be an invitation, you know, maybe you've knocked on some doors, you rung some bells, you made some phone calls, you've hit some people up on social media about um, your product, your services, whatever it is that you have to offer. But I see that you're just trying to sow the seed, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to, this is in the month of November now, overall, okay? And I, you remember, this is in your moon card. She's showing you how to use your emotions to make moves, okay? But you got to be poised. You got to have your shit together. You can't be half-assing when it comes. You know, think about your parents. Your mother and father, you know, the ones that, you know, about your progress and your growth, they don't take excuses. You have to be on your game, right? And I see that you're going to walk through that door. You're going to take that chance. You're going to get an opportunity. But some of you are going east. Now, I don't know if that's east in another continent, east of where you live, but you're going east. Some of you are messages coming from the east, okay? Take me to the other side of town Just as fast as you can My grandma used to love to play that. My mama, taxi before my baby puts me down. Now, I'm not saying that's your story. I'm just saying it. Okay, <laughs> let me see what the reason is for this. Flying above. How can you fly above? This is what you're thinking about. How can I, you know, some of you fly above the competition. How can we connect? You know, and make something happen. Where, when, how? Where's the best place, the best side of town? You got to do your homework. Yeah. This is all about establishment. Quit trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Two of you together, like a marriage, you know? Coming together. You've been thinking about this for a while. Seven years, seven months, seven weeks. For others, this is a person who thinks a problem solver that's married to their work, that's building something. You may be inviting this person over. They got a good mind. It's like they know how to build. They have, they have the ideas. They have the resources. But you have to think how to put it together. Who and what qualifies, right? Again, your products and your service could be something that you actually do online. But I keep hearing this is, this is the time for sowing seed. Where can you sow your seed? 
okay? Online, on the other side of town, okay? Are you sowing your seed in another by offering them a place, inviting them in? This is an opening, okay? But just, it's like right now you're just in mid-air because you get, it's, things got to be figured out, you know? There may have been some tension and some failure here. But remember, failure is really not failure, okay? It's the stepping stones to success. You can't have success without some kind of failure. And if you start out with success, you're going to eventually have some failure. You got to. It's just a part of it, okay? Yeah, and I see, yeah, I see in the outcome, you're thinking about taking a, a chance, you know. Um, some people may consider this a risk, you know, because you've never done it before. Or maybe it's a particular person. I'm also getting mushrooms, you know. I don't know if you're cooking with mushrooms, you know, you using mushrooms. You know, I don't know where you live. Sounds very California, IA, you know what I'm saying? Well, you may do mushrooms. You know, there's mushrooms, you know, like, uh, what they call it, psychedelic. I guess it's supposed to make you hallucinate. It's kind of dealing with spiritual stuff. Mushrooms kind of deal with the spiritual stuff, as I understand it. Um, but it's there. Maybe you're going to be putting some on, using it as an as, as a ingredient. I don't know. But again, I'm seeing a message coming. This could be someone outside of you, the person that you invited that may take this chance, may take this risk. They are really leaning toward um, working with you or you working with them, taking this chance. I'm hearing flat. I don't know, flat. Flat on your ass. Oh, what's the conflict in a challenge for November? It's the two of cups. Yeah, reaching out. Didn't I say that? No fabrication, baby. No fabrication. Reaching out. For some of you, this could be a soulmate type. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't have to be. It could be, but it doesn't have to be romantic. Okay? It kind of looks romantic here. Um, it's, it really does have a spiritual touch. It's a conflict, though. I don't know if the conflict is because of who you want to work with or who you're inviting over, who's inviting you in. I don't know if this, I don't know, this person. Because I feel like for some, I'm getting like two stories. Because I feel like for some of you, it's not you. It's someone else. But you want to sow seed. You want to give them a chance. You want to help them out. You got what they need. I don't know if it's experience, materials, or whatever. You know, and reaching out to them is kind of a conflict. It's, this feels kind of otherworldly because I kind of feel like you're being forced or someone's being forced to do this. Like It's like heavenly guidance. The moon mother. Something about the subconscious. It's in the subconscious. You know, sometimes when you got to do what you got, when they tell you to move, you got to move. I feel like some of this is kind of surprising, kind of shocking, maybe even to yourself. This could be taboo. The first of the month. I'm seeing mushrooms and shells. I don't know if that's macaroni and cheese. Because, you know, y'all like to cook and stuff like that. So, <laughs> I don't know why this is coming up, you know. I'm seeing, you know, tacos and macaroni and cheese. And, and I don't know where that's coming from. Mushrooms and stuff. But maybe that's what you're working with. You've been kind of stuck, but it's been like, like a you and a group. I don't know if it's your work group, your community group. 
but it is but somebody or you were trying to get out of a bad situation out of a uh, a bad environment i don't know if it's your work environment your living environment i don't know but you are trying to get out of that situation and move on and be productive i feel like a lot of you to be independent you know or um like i said it's got something to do with these astrological ast astronomical studies okay beliefs even if they're religious beliefs And, 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 and the outcome, you're trying to figure out how to take a chance or if you should take a chance or this person is going to take a chance on you. They're thinking about it once, this, once you've given them the invite, right? What is the blessing and the challenge? Oh, the blessing, I'm sorry, the support is the devil in reverse, okay? For some of you, it's like, Tearing down old ways of thinking. It, this this puts me in the mind of uh, I call he's he's Jesus to me, Bob Marley, where he talks about the tearing and the looting. We we how it goes. Um, we're going to be looting tonight. Whatever it, I forget how the words go, but. The theory is, it's not like looting, like going out and, you know how we have like riots and, and internal strife and we go tearing stuff up and people be coming out still of the TVs and radio and stuff. It's not, it's, it's, but this is more mental where you turn it in on yourself and you start to tear down those old thoughts and those old ways of thinking, you know, more likely through study. I'm going to tell you, history, the truth, will make the difference. History and truth will make the difference. That's what I'm feeling here. And out of that, there's creation. Okay? And I feel like that's the blessing. Starting all over. Starting with the truth. Getting in your subconscious. Okay? And rebuilding from the ground up. Rebuilding what's yours. You know, you may have um, had this connection, you know... I don't know if it was good or not. You know, I don't know. I believe it's good. The Two of Cups always good in some aspect or another, but it's got you questioning something. Maybe this person, this connection has got you thinking, has raised an eyebrow. It's got you looking deep within yourself. But I feel like spirituality is playing a very, very big role in this. And this devil in reverse is a blessing because it's like you're turning your thoughts around. You know, you're making a decision to build from the foundation, to start from the foundation. Cause something is dead. I don't know if you've been sleeping with dead thoughts and dead theories. You know what is dead is old. It doesn't apply to the time. You know, somebody trying to live in 2020 on 1403 ideals. It's just not going to work. We're in a whole different time and era. It's just not going to work. You see what I'm saying? It's just not going to work. I, I, I just feel like the moon mother is... Um, working with your subconscious about, I'm, I'm hearing the word honesty here. You have to be honest with yourself. Okay, you have to look in that mirror. Okay, yep, you got the x ray, can't make it up. This is an examination. Looking at your own personal TV, this can even be stuff online that you're learning. Okay. And uh, underlining that is the flag, the flame, the floor, and the fly. So a flag, to me, it deals with like your like sovereignty, like uh, what you stand for, your country, whatever it is that you believe, your standard, 
you waving the flag. I don't know if it's a piece. Sometimes it can also be, when I see the flag, I also think of the death card. Flame could be, your, you know, love or romance here, the starting from the ground up. Then I say from the floor, and then you're flying above something. All right. Say, ah. Sometimes you think you're picking something, and it's choosing you. All right. Let me see what else we're going to get right now. She said this right here. I'm going to paint your picture for the month of November. Remember, this is just an overview. So what does it look like for Devil Advocates and Gemstones for the month of November? Hmm. Empty pouch. It's stirring something up. Okay. Think about... Didn't I say that? Thinking about coming up with something new, coming up with your own brand, I'm hearing. Okay, I feel like you've been watching something. You know, you've been watching something. You know, I don't know. I don't know if you've been, I don't know. You you have to be your own. If she's telling me like it's, you've been mimicking. Okay. Uh, but now it's time to come up with your own thing. You know, it's time to go through that rain. It's time to go through that change. You know, the empty pocket. You know, you need to figure out how to carry your own baby. It's time, to me, this is like getting ready to go through the challenge. You get ready to go through the challenge. You know, if you won't. If you want to be authentic, that's what you're going to have to do. I feel like that's what, that's what mother the great mother is dealing with your authenticity who are you who are you are you someone else okay because you haven't been stuck by yourself you've been stuck with some other people whether you know them or not let's see what this um there it is word to the wise speak your truth or die a lie okay speak your truth or die a lie dr surrey said now i'm seeing what Let's see what's gonna help you this month. Be a little taller while you try to fly above, okay? <laughs> Cause you will be challenged, okay? Especially if you're in a calling, all right? Now, if you just something you want to do, that's different. But if you're in a calling, you're gonna be you're gonna be challenged. And what you're gonna need to be is like the cheetah, okay? The cheetah, the cheetah. I think the cheetah is considered the fastest animal. You wanna be quick about your shit. Okay, you're going to have to be sights on, kind of like you was on this TV. You're going to be sights on, but you can look this up for yourself and find out how the cheetah is going to work for you this month because I'm going to leave it here. And I want to thank you so much, Devil Alex and Gemstones, for tuning in to the Soul Station with the Spiritual Bee for another one. And I can't wait to bring you the next one. Until then, 